can I see what I look like? Um, well, you actually can't. You're gonna be fine. Just be yourself. Do you think I should wear this or a nicer shirt? Hey, Brandon, uh, make sure that when you hold that boom pole that the cord isn't knocking up against the side of it. I'm gonna go change. You look great. You're not gonna wear a skirt. We're interviewing homeless people. I want to get some locals too, and some tourists. Yeah, well, you're fine. It's gonna be great. Hey, Poppy, I mean, look, I don't really even have to shoot you. You can just be off to the side of the camera. No, if we're gonna do it, I have to be in it. It's my class. This is better. Oh my god. Excuse me? Hi, I'm making a, a documentary about homeless people. I was wondering if I could talk to you for a few minutes. Sure. Great. Why do you think there are so many homeless people in Los Angeles? Uh, I think the number one reason is the weather. It really is based on their choices. I think so many people, you get to go left, you get to go right, and I think they choose wrong, and at some point they just give up. I mean, it seems like a lot of the homeless here around here are uh, mentally ill or sick in some way, um, right? I mean, yeah. anything else? Cost of living. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really I mean, high. It's expensive. <laughs> Do you see homeless people often? Oh yeah. yeah. Where? Yeah. I mean, all over the place. Downtown, West Hollywood, Griffith Park, places like that. I do. I actually see a lot in Hollywood. I see a lot around Santa Monica, and uh, there seem to be a ton in Griffith Park area. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, camera's rolling. Uh, today we're at Griffith Park, um, looking for more subjects to interview for the project. I'm told that homeless people congregate in this part of the park, and I'm hoping that we'll find some people who'll be willing to talk to us today. Mac. Yeah. I see a sheet. I'm gonna go back the other way. Do you see that? Just try to approach it the other way. Okay. I want you to get this. It's like a whole camp. Can I help you? Oh, hi. Um, hi, I'm, I'm Poppy. I'm doing a project for my master's about people who live in Griffith Park. Um, do you mind if we ask you some questions and film you? Who will see this? Uh, well, it gets posted to the internet. Someone who can help me. Yes. Someone may see this and want to help you. That's fine. Great. Sound, sound speeding? Yes, sound speeding. Camera speeding? Okay. <clears throat> I can start, right, Mac? Yeah. Okay. Please tell us your name and where you're from. Alistair Morley. I'm from Shibden. It's a village in West Yorkshire. England? Yeah. How long have you lived in the park? 30 days. Most days I spend in the park. Nights I spend at the landing site. What's the landing site? When I first came through the hole, I landed on top of this, this large metal box. That's the landing site. Came through the hole, what, is that, what do you mean came through the hole? I was stationed in a forest right by the front line and there was a, a bombardment came. I was blown up into the air and when I came back down, I landed on top of this metal box. I banged the back of my head. It took me two days to find my way here. You were fighting in a war? Yeah. What was the date? It was May 17th, 1918. So you were fighting in World War I and a bomb blasted you through a hole and you landed on a container in this year. I know you don't believe me. 
nobody believes me. I lost my papers, I lost my gun, everything came off me in the blast. Have you tried contacting anybody, the, the British government? Yeah, I went, to, I went to visit the consulate. They wouldn't even let me in the building. What do you mean, why? Well, look at, look at the state of me. They called the police. Police came, put me in the back of the car. They drove me to the city center. Downtown? They took, they took me to downtown. They dropped me off. They didn't even bother to arrest me. It took me days to find my way back here. I was dying of thirst. What do you, where do you get water here? There's a basin at the bottom of the hill. What about food? There's food everywhere. The squirrel, I eat squirrels. Oh, you eat squirrels? Yeah, I have a trap set up for them. That? Yeah. You trap squirrels in that? Yeah. How? Well, you, you just put food, you put some food in there. Hey, you're on the... Oh, sorry, sorry. <sighs> Hello? So I just put some food in the back right in the back and they can smell it and they come in and I just wait back here mm -hmm. all day and then when they get into the back and they get the food I can see them go in there and then I pull this and it traps them and that's, that's all I get them. You don't eat them raw? No, no, I cook them. There's a place on the other side of the tunnel. Will you show us where? Yeah, that's fine. Why would he do that? I don't know Why because he's insane. Well, this isn't what we were supposed to be. Where are you? Where are In the cup, it's for scooping out the coals to put on the cooker. Bait for the squirrel trap. Can you see this? That's it, I cook them there. How many do you cook at a time? I can get five on there. How long will that last you, five squirrels? Two days. And what do you eat besides squirrels? Nothing, that's it. Plus whatever I can find in the green, in the green bin. Well, can we buy you lunch? Why would you do that? Why not?
I'm just gonna get chicken tacos and. What is in a what is in a taco? Chicken, bar, beef. chicken. And I don't think he wants anything on it. No, nothing spicy. Onion, cilantro, hot sauce. No, no, no hot no. sauce. Yeah, milk. Do you want a milk? Yeah, yeah. And we'll take a milk. <laughs> You can get more if you if you like it. You can order. Thank you. Thank you. You can hold it like this. That's the way they you sort of roll it up like that. Yep. Exactly. that you like or I think just you know bar soap like this is good Irish yeah Irish um three come with spring weather there are so many benefits all right thank you okay right I'll take you to a restroom so you can't clean up What do you think, man? God, are you kidding me? Can you smell it? We're never gonna get the smell out of this car. I know. And now she wants to give him a bath. We should have pulled him down before we got in the car. Oh, she, I, I, I knew she was gonna do this. Oh. Okay, he's in there just getting clean. He should be done in just a minute. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Speaking of clean, let me clean the lens here. Can you hold this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. You know, we should just get out of here. And leave him? There he is. He's coming out. So the landing site is about half a mile down this way. Let's let's go, let's see it. Right. Let's go see the landing site. What was it like in the war? It's it's exhausting. You just you never get enough sleep. You never get enough to eat. I know how the war ended. We won, I know that. But we won because there was nobody left to fight. That's not, that's not a victory, that's not, that's not winning. What do you miss most about home? I miss my wife. Waiting for me. It's like your jacket. Yeah. What's the song? It's missing the buttons. It's 
nice with the red. It's a fashion statement. Yeah, 100 years later. This is it, this is the landing site. It's at the far end here. When I first landed, I came in backwards here and I cracked my head on top right there and I was out for I don't know how, how long. And uh, I spent the first two nights up here before I ventured out, I found the park. This is it, it was right here. Poppy, it's getting late. Alistair, we have to go. Yeah, right. But it was really great meeting you, and I wish you lots of luck. Well, thank you, thank you. Thank you for filming. Good luck. Are you sure we can't drive you back to the park? No, no, I spent my night up here. Okay. If you could say anything to the people who are watching this, what would you like to say? Uh, well, there's got to be someone who knows about such things, how I got here, how I can get home. So if someone is watching this and, and they have information, then they can find me here. I'm here every night. Um, Do you want to know about your wife? I know she's waiting for me. So what do you think? Do you do you believe him? The guy's a total nutbag. Brandon. What? He is, Poppy, and you just made me spend my entire day with him. Well, what do you think? I think that I hope he makes it back to his wife, wherever she is. I know you don't believe me. Nobody believes me. I lost my papers, I lost my gun, everything came- Hey babe, what are you up to? Nothing. How was work? The usual. Silas was being an a-hole. You wanna hang out? I can't tonight. Uh-huh. Watching your escape convict again. Did you even go to class this week? I'm worried about him. Believe me, he's fine. What did you do? What? Nothing. You went up there. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, Bobby. Is that Mac? We're going to the landing site. Um, no, you're not. I went to Griffith Park today. The cam? It's gone. He's gone. You ready? Something happened to him. I know it. No. I'll, look, I'll call you tomorrow. You stay right there. I'm coming with you. Alistair? Alistair? Maybe he's sleeping and he can't hear you. Alistair? 
Walter, it's Poppy. Are you there? Alistair? I have to get up there. You are not going up there. Oh. Oh, yeah. He was here. But he's not here now. That's just his stuff. He wouldn't leave it. That's what I'm telling you. How? Something happened to him. You don't I know knew, how. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Why would he leave that? Because maybe somebody picked him up. Damn it. Alistair! Poppy, he's not here. Alistair? Alistair? God damn it. God damn it. Damn it. Let's try the taco truck. Then we call it a night. I gotta get gas. Donuts. Will you get me an eclair, please? Do you want anything, Mac? No, um, I'm good. I'm just gonna stretch my legs. That's on me. <laughs> can you can you stand? I'll be careful. Okay. Uh, All right, we got you. Let's get him into the car. Alistair, I'm worried about you. I've had worse. I'll be right as rain in the morning. Why don't you stay at my place tonight? Poppy. There's a sofa you can sleep on. You can take a shower or a bath. I don't want to impose. Maybe there's a shelter. You're nearby. welcome to stay with me. It's not an imposition. That's very kind. Thank you. your coat and hang it up. 
I'll, it'll just be right out here. It's like you need a new shirt. I found this one in the park. I'll see what I have. What's going on with that bandage? Yeah, it's seen better days. Mm. Let's let's take a look. gonna hurt a lot. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, oh God. I can do it. Okay. Uh, you can use this and make sure you scrub all the dirt out. Suicide attempt. Take off your shirt? No. Absolutely not. He needs a shirt. You're wearing two. Watch. He'll have an ID or a credit card in here. She get you some new clothes. This is my uniform. 
What are those pants? Wool? Yeah. Some new t-shirts, some fresh socks. I met this bloke in the park and he said that it was a wormhole. The tunnel that I came through. I need to find a scientist, a doctor, someone who can help me get back through. Someone who understands that. Well, we need to get you set up first. Get a job, get you an apartment. I, I'm not an American. They don't give me the time of day. There are plenty of people in LA who are not Americans that... I, th I think what Brandon is trying to say is that um, if we got you cleaned up, you would be more likely to get a job. I mean, more than just shaving your head in some soap, really clean. How's the leg? It's just a bruise. I'll be all right to walk. I could do with a pack. I'm sorry? A pack. You mean a backpack? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I I have a backpack. I can give you a back. Hang on, hang on. Hmm? This will definitely hold all your stuff. Now can we get you some new clothes? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Good. What type of work did you do before the war? I was the assistant editor at the local newspaper. How old were you? started 34 what made you join up we're almost there Brandon you're the bank hundred dollars keep it safe Let's try to find something a little smaller. Oh yeah, much better. Huh, hey. Not bad. It actually looks quite nice, doesn't it? I think it looks quite nice as well. Hey. Hey, what's up? What do you think about this? Um, about what? Oh, about him? <laughs> I mean, it's it's actually kind of interesting. Oh, you did. Yeah, I mean, the only thing is, I, I just I gotta get back to work soon. Oh, I Check. Hey, Poppy. Hey, listen, I don't mean to rush you, but I kind of gotta get back. How much more did you want to shoot today? Oh. Me too. Work. We gotta get you home. Um. You know what? Um, we'll take the subway. Take my car. And I'll call you later. He doesn't stay the night without me there. Um, Mac, I'm gonna keep on filming him with my cell phone. Oh, you, your cell phone? Yeah. Um, it's just, it's not gonna look as good as the camera that we're using. Okay, look. I normally never do this, but I'm gonna loan you a camera for right now. Seriously? Yeah. 
Just please take good care of it. I promise I will. This is awesome. Thanks, Mac. Yeah. Do you know how to get it started? Um, I think. Right yeah. And it should just autofocus. I got it. You got it? Got it. That's cool. Thank you, Mac. No worries. I appreciate it. Thank you, Brandon. I'll call you later. Yeah? Okay, cool. You wanna go? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he is good. You've met your match. So choose A. Do it A again. And that gives you $20 worth of rides around the city. That's very good. Protector, he cares about you. No one since the ninth grade. He's just always been there. The next stop is Hollywood Western Station. I'm kind of on a separation right now from my girlfriend. We were pretty serious. Brandon thinks I'm kidding myself. He's worried about me. You miss her. Where are you going to spend the night? You know, you can stay on my couch again if you like. I missed last night at the landing site. I have to go back there in case the, the hall opens up. What about those guys who attacked you? It doesn't bother me. That's all there is to it, I'm going home. I, I didn't mean to imply that I don't now think it's gonna... Alice, I'm sorry. Thank you for your charity. What you doing? Watching videos about time travel. It's amazing what they teach you in social work school. Is he there? No. Are you happy? Are you? Getting there. Great. I'm almost out of here. I'm gonna swing by and pick you up and get you out on the town. Another night, B. I, I can't, I have to work. Today I'm back at the landing site and I'm hoping that Alistair will talk to me. I want to show him the video clip that I found online. He's annoyed at me, so I brought him a cup of tea. See if that helps. I bought you some tea. I'm, I'm really sorry about yesterday. Yeah, well. I have something to show you. Here it is. My findings, although a challenge for some to accept, show the existence of wormholes throughout our universe. These are the arteries, if you will, that link us together as living beings with time itself. They are constantly shifting across a fourth dimensional plane, difficult to track. My work here at the Marcus Institute is proving that by using the negative energy siphons, these doorways can be opened. I have to write her a letter. <laughs> we can do better than that. So you can come here to check your messages, Look for a job, anything you want. We have to set you up with an email account. What do you want your name to be? Alistair. 
That is probably taken. Um, oh, what about a number? 1918. Alistair, 1918. And, oh, you need a password. Millie. I should have figured that one out. Now the letter. Uh-huh. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, I'll see you then. You ever been to the beach? I do some part-time dog walking for my old boss. Mac's gonna meet us there. I'm writing to Millie, so I don't forget the tale when I get home. It's good to keep a diary. I sometimes have a go at poetry too. Not very well though. Can I hear it? I'm warning you. But what was worth living for is no more, when all that's left on your plate. Alistair, I want you to have this. You pay me I back can't, can't. when you can. And why don't you take this camera and film your day? You just push this button right here. Like a diary. Now you're working, part of the crew. I'll talk to you later, okay? Thank you. Bye, Alistair. Bye. It's not raining right now, which is good. I think I'm going to get a cup of tea, courtesy of you, Poppy. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to go up there and see what I can see and uh, see how this night goes. Poppy, is this what you want to be seeing? When you said make a diary, I don't really know what you mean. Is this what you're looking for? Just somebody standing in the street getting soaking wet through? Will this help your documentary? I hope so. Did you get my text? I must have missed it. He's telling the truth. I know it. Please don't film me right now. We're making a documentary. whoop de do. Oh, excuse me, and what are you doing that's so important? I booked a catering gig tonight. Really? 
While some of us have been missing class, I've been working. I gave him the camera. He's filming for us right now. Great. Five hours of a homeless guy catching squirrels. I gave him money for food. The money you've been saving for class. <sighs> I need you to get him a job, B. And how am I going to do that? At the restaurant. That is not going to happen. He's going to call you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, with what? I bought him a phone. A really cheap phone. Cheap, I don't old believe fashioned, you. Oh my God. clamshell phone. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. He needs a phone, and I need to be he able to. He does not him. need a phone. He actually does need a phone. Wait, Everybody so we can call 1918? Hello? Brandon, this is Alistair Morley. Yes, I know. Poppy asked me to telephone you regarding some employment. Yes, yes. Um, I spoke with her, and here's the deal. I need you to be clean and wearing clean clothes and be at that landing site off of Melrose by 4.30 tomorrow, uh, and then I will take you to work with me, and my bosses have something for you to do. And exactly what will my job entail? I have no idea. I didn't ask them. Okay, can you be there at 4.30 tomorrow? I'm, I'm at the park during the daytime. Okay. O only at the landing site at night. Well, I'm not driving to Griffith Park, Alistair, so if you want the job, I need you to be at your landing at, site at, at the park. They have uh, the, the I, toilets for me to get then clean. Then clean yourself before you come to the landing site. I don't know. I Honestly, it's not my concern. Uh, if you want the job, you will be there at 430 Otherwise, uh, it's been nice, okay? I do want the job. Thank you. Okay, I will see you tomorrow at 4.30 at the landing site. Please be clean and wear some fresh clothing. All right, I have to run. Bye. Seatbelt, please. Thank you. She is going to love this. Let me see your phone. This thing is older than you. Doesn't it just blow your mind, modern technology? We have telephones. Yeah, but these have no wires. We have radios, also. You missed a spot. Oh my god. In this place. Found it online. Alistair. You got a tea kettle? It's yours till the end of the month. Have you ever seen a camper like this? No. I haven't either. I mean, not, not in real life. This looks like the Brady Bunch became a camper. The, oh. Nice view. You got a hammock. All right, well, I have to go. Do you need anything? Are you, you good? No, thank you. All right. I mean, I know it's, I know it's not much, but. It's very nice. 
It beats sleeping outside. Mac, want to go? So I'll check in with you later. All right, get some rest. Enjoy, enjoy your privacy. picking up. checked your email. Dr. Jansen, she wrote you back. What did she say? She wants to meet you. Uh, uh, uh. Go ahead, get ready, get ready. <laughs> Is your phone working? The... I called you like 25 times. The, the blue's on. Yeah, I, I called you a million times. Tell her what you told me. Hello, puppy. Doctor, thank you so much My for pleasure. being with us. Hello, Hello doctor. Alice. We watched your interview. Okay. You can send me home. Uh, in theory, uh, it is possible. But you have to understand, we have never done anything like this before. But I, I came through. 
I must be able to go back. You have the technology. It is right? not so simple. First, I need information. So tell me about the blast. Uh, well, there was two in, in quick succession. and They landed right behind me. Two explosions? Is that significant? First explosion caused a vacuum. Second explosion occurs inside the vacuum, forcing the wormhole open. Alistair flew right through. Where were you stationed? Village of Mont Saint Père. Looks very different now. I hope so. You were there, weren't you? I was there. After the blast, what do you remember? I was blown forwards into darkness. The next thing I know, I'm on top of the container. Good. So I need a date, time, location, exactly to the second, to the centimeter. Whatever you need. Okay, maybe you show me where you came through? Yeah, we can take you to the landing site. Okay. I have my car. I will follow you. Great. Well, one thing is for sure, it is not here anymore. So what time did you come through? Uh, it was night time. Uh, street lights on? Yeah, the, the light was on in the alleyway, but it turned off a few seconds after I hit the roof. Motion detector or a timer if we are lucky. Uh, maybe can we ask the owner if he knows what time the lights go off? Yeah, Brandon, go ahead. Okay. Sure. Mm, the date? We met 11 days ago. Alistair landed 30 days before that. Okay, so. 41 days. Uh, that would be February 15th. Uh, show me how you landed. I fell backwards like this. It is on a timer. Lights go out at 5 a.m. Ah, shit. Batteries. Uh, we can go to my place. Where were you at the time of the blast? It was a forest. Just west of the village. Battle of the Marne? Second Battle of the Marne. That's what they call it now. My great-grandfather was at Verdun. And we studied it in school. So I need to know exactly where you were. The trench was by a bend in the road. Um, here? That's it. I was just there. What time? We had orders to attack first thing. They blew the whistle I was up and over across the road right there, half past seven in the morning. So how do you know where the wormhole is now? It is um, a calculation based on dozens of factors. It is complicated. So where is it? The wormhole? Um, Santa Monica. But it is moving west. In a couple of days, it will be out to sea. So how do we get him back through it? So we recreate the vacuum caused by the blast position the negative energy siphons over a body of water to disperse the excess energy. At least there, you will jump through the exact moment the wormhole passes over, and hopefully, you will be home. You said a body of water? Yes, a, a canal, a river, a... Swimming pool? No. My girlfriend lives in Santa Monica. She has a swimming pool. Good? Okay. Alistair, tomorrow we send you home. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> okay, I have a lecture. May I drop you somewhere? I should go and pack up my room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have family? Wife, Millie. You? Husband in Denmark. Researcher left him behind. He could not stand the heat. Oh, don't blame him. 
Alistair, this experiment, it is very dangerous. There is no guarantee you will make it to the other side. That's what they told me on the way to the front line. You are risking your life. I have to go home. You can drop me off right here. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, so what do you want me to do here? Uh, I'm gonna take the close-ups. If you wanna go in the corner and grab the wide, that'd be great. Okay. Thanks. So where is she? Out today. She said we could just come by. Well, what was it like talking to her? Fine. No big deal. Hey, Alistair. I thought you could wear this. Great. Maybe you could leave it somewhere for us so we know you made it back safe? <laughs> What's it gonna do? Go back to 1918 and take a cruise ship to New York and a, a, a train across America to bury it for you? Yeah. I will. I'll, I'll leave the camera in a tin. I'll bury it under where the squirrel trap is. You have my word. We have two minutes. Safe travels. Alistair, you need to jump and land through the center exactly as the wormhole passes through. Good luck. What makes you so sure he's telling the truth? Yesterday, his eyes were dilated in the sun. It's a shell shock, very common in Great War veterans. I didn't know that. And also, I believe him. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jump! Jump! What are you doing in my house? I, I called you yesterday. Yeah, I know. I told you to stop with the calls. What is this man doing in my pool? He's, he's a friend of mine. No, uh, what are you doing I'm here? I'm trying to help him. Okay, I'm calling the police. Wait, Claire, wait. No, listen. This no. is Dr. Jansen. She's no, a scientist. I don't care. Everybody, out. Out. You, you get out now.
Alistair. Alistair, wait. We'll try it again. Alistair. Leave him. Well, that went great. It was an experiment. I thought it would work. An experiment? I promised we would get him home. I made you no such promise. You were so sure it would work. I had faith in my calculations, but they were wrong. Bobby, he's got two of my cameras. Was it faith in your calculations? I thought this was a done deal. It is science. How many times have you done this before? Where did you get this woman? You know what, Brandon? Just shut up. You have had it in for this project the whole time. This project is crazy town to me. Brandon! Sh she... You lied to my face. She left you. We're on a break. Bullshit. She dumped your sorry ass, and now you're in an up the hill with this quack and some delusional homeless dude. Excuse me. I am a doctor. I am one of the world's leading that scientists. That poor in man, separated from his wife, just jumped into a swimming pool because you were so sure it would get him home. Yes. I was sure. I'm out. See ya. Bobby. I really need those cameras. I have a shoot later. I guess I need a taxi. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Is that the Office of Infantry Man Online? Hello, sir. My name is Alistair Morley. I understand the advertisement said no telephone calls, but I wondered if you had a, a brief moment to speak, sir. Is it, well, I have writing experience for a small newspaper in the north of England. I have infantry service, sir. A quite substantial service. I'm not at liberty to say where, sir. A sample of my work. Yes, sir. That will be fine, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sophie Jansen. Video. If we consider the hypothesis that time is nonlinear, that it does in fact curve in the same way as our physical universe, we then see that bridges to corresponding physical points can be made across the void of time. My calculations show the diameter of time is approximately 100 years. Therefore, I find it highly conceivable that travel within a limited time period is possible.
the wormhole, the movement of the wormhole across Los Angeles. And I am here right now. And this right here is where I landed. Seems like a long time ago. How did you find me? Your address is on the internet. Poppy, she's not answering any of my telephone calls. It's over, man. She's done. And Brandon. My guess is the same. It's kind of weird having that thing pointing at you. Yeah, you get used to it. Get your camera. Come on. They won't even let me in. Dr. Jansen! Dr. Jansen! Mr. I'm sorry I could not help you. It's moving the opposite Good way. Good luck. Sophie! You were right. Your calculations. But the wormhole, it's moving in the opposite direction. I, I was blown forwards but landed backwards. It's moving the other way. What are you doing here? I found a way. She needs to be there. So go ask her. You are the only one that she will listen to. Not anymore. Do you love her? Do you love that her? That has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with it. I've got homework to I, do. I found a way. That's what we thought the last No, time. it's different now. Project is over. This is not a project. I don't have it in me. Yes, you do. You don't need me. You know, you're right. We don't need you. We want you. The wormhole, it's moving the other way towards the mountains. This is our last chance and then we lose it. Poppy, I have to go home and I have to go now. You are coming with us. North, half a mile. It's moving east. We are losing it over the freeway. GPS is reading. It is here, right here exactly. So, here. Yes. Merci. Merci. 
Mystère Thank you, Doctor. Hey, good luck. Oh, jeez. Get ready. Give the wifey a squeeze for me. Five, four, three, two. One. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe you could leave it somewhere for us so we know you made it back safe. <laughs> What's it going to do? Go back to 1918 and take a cruise ship to New York and a, a, a train across America to bury it for you? Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll leave the camera in a tin. I'll bury it under where the squirrel trap is. You have my word.